Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe kicked off his tour of Latin America in Mexico. Abe and President Nieto are both reformists, both trying to shake up their economies. In Mexico City, with the details. Hi, John. I feel, well, these two leaders today, uh, as you say, they're both reformers, but they were also keen to emphasize on the, the past, the long-standing and largely successful relationship that their two countries share. Uh, in 2005, a free trade agreement between uh, the two of them was launched, and since then, Japanese investments to Mexico have gone up by over 60 uh, percent. Firms like uh, Mazda and Nissan have their plants uh, here in Mexico. But they also wanted to, uh, to talk about the future. They wanted to talk today about international free trade agreements, about renewable energy, about the aerospace industry uh, that they're hoping to, uh, to build on here in Mexico, and about the country's oil reserves, as you'll see in our report. It's the first visit to Latin America for a Japanese prime minister in 10 years. Shinzo Abe touched down in Mexico today the first stop on his tour. He's the latest world leader to beat a path towards a region attractive for its economic growth, plentiful natural resources and cheap labor. Japan is equally important to Mexico. The Asian nation has invested around $16 billion here in the last 10 years, primarily in a growing auto industry and is Mexico's top trading partner in Asia. The two leaders today emphasize the long lasting relationship with new accords. We've made 14 agreements, eight of them signed today. These will bring more academic exchanges, more access to the Japanese market for small and medium businesses, and more renewable energy and sustainable agriculture in Mexico. Mr. Abe brought with him Japanese business leaders who will be watching carefully Mexico's telecommunication and energy sectors. After years in the grasp of a handful of companies, President Peña Nieto is trying to open them up to international investment through landmark reforms. The two leaders also discussed the Trans-Pacific Trade Agreement. This is a huge undertaking that's currently being negotiated between 12 countries. Both leaders see it as very important, but it's been difficult to get it signed, particularly in the face of opposition from certain groups in the US and Japan. Mr. Abe is also looking for support for Japan's bid for a non-permanent seat on the UN Security Council. He appeared to get it here. President Pena Nieto supports Japan's desire to contribute to world peace. On Saturday, the Japanese Prime Minister will continue his trip visiting Brazil, Chile, Colombia, and Trinidad and Tobago. Hey, John, uh, Chinese President Xi also toured uh, Latin America as well. Tell me a little bit about the, the timing of this. Yeah, well, he obviously toured uh, last year, and there's been a, a lot uh, spoken and written about the, the fact that this visit comes fairly soon after that visit. And obviously, these two uh, Asian powerhouses uh, are rivals in some ways, uh, and the Japanese wouldn't like to be left behind after all the deals that the Chinese president did across Latin America and what was seen as a, a fairly successful trip last year. But it's interesting, uh, the different relationship that Mexico, for one, has with those two countries. Uh, Japan is seen as a potential opportunity, a potential partner for Mexico rather than uh, anything. And that's because of the, the big investments that Japan has made into Mexico in the past uh, and continues to do so, and a healthy trade balance between the two countries. Uh, the relationship with, with China, there isn't such a healthy uh, trade balance there. It's quite lopsided in, in China's favor. And China's seen more uh, as a potential rival or as a rival for Mexico's crucial uh, U.S. markets. So there's a difference in the two relationships between the two countries uh, there. But one thing is for certain, and that is that Mexico has the most free trade agreements of any country in the world. Uh, it's just had reforms that seem to be opening up crucial sectors. It's got a growing middle class. Uh, and this trip and others highlight the fact that Mexico is really uh, seems willing to do business uh, with just about uh, any reputable country at the moment. Thank you, globalization. Everyone's a competitor. John Holman, have a great weekend. Thank you very much.